Hi and welcome to CrossFit CBN. This month we have been focusing on the sixth commandment, which is do not murder. When we think of murder, we think of physically killing someone. But what about the times when we pull someone's self-esteem down? Today we have a composer, vocalist, bassist, Mr. Ujjal Gadal, to specifically talk about silencing the artistic expression. Ujjal, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm very curious to know how did your career as a musician begin? First of all, I would like to thank you for having me. My father, Reverend Dr. Joseph Godal, is a musician and he has been into music for the past 40 years. So since I was six years old, I can remember I started playing tabla. My mom was also there to support us. And my mom also was the one who introduced chords to us and my elder brother and younger brother, we all were into music. We all are in music because uh, the foundation itself was my dad and mom who gave us music as a gift to us. So entire musical family, that must be an interesting time when you all meet together. But I know it's not easy being an artist. It's a mix of incredible highs and sometimes extremely challenging times. What challenges did you personally face as an artist and did you ever think of like just quitting everything and leaving? It, it was not just me who, who was pursuing music. It was two brothers as well. So we were three and three instruments had to be brought um, if we wanted to go further in music. So that itself was a challenge as well as like, uh, in fact, uh, my elder brother had to sell his car to record our first album and the recording itself was not a challenge but to get the instrument that was required to record as well as later on after the album was produced the hard challenge was to sell those albums to take it to people convince them to buy it because you were doing it by yourself and the music which we did was different to what people were listening those days uh, there are many times where I thought of quitting and as a band, yes, we thought of quitting because, you know, the, the challenges does not let you uh, make you quit music. But but the people who does not understand and like the people who are not in, in into music, but they have a lot of comments, those kind of people make you feel sad about what you're doing. That's a challenging journey. And as you mentioned, your uh, brothers were with you, uh, with the band, with you know, trying to get the instruments and everything. Could you share a bit on your support system, your family and friends, and how they helped you through this journey? The first uh, and important support uh, I got during the time of disappointments was my family itself, uh, because they understood music. So it was easy for them to relate to the problems I was facing or we were facing. So there were a lot of times we were left alone, but, but still we supported each other, we pushed each other, the important thing in music uh, is that you need to have a mentor who is above you. Like if you are with somebody, always with somebody who who is just pursuing music uh, like you and you do not have a mentor or somebody who is supporting you, you, you will fall, you will be falling easily. So we, I had my teachers, I had my family, I had my brothers who backed, uh, we backed each other very well. So having a support system is very, very necessary, as you said. And Ujjal, what do you think are the factors that lead an artist to give up on their dream? There are two major factors for any artist which uh, takes them to uh, quit what they love to do. It, it might be music, sports or anything is uh, the family and finance. Many times a family do not understand, uh, understand them. They might be super talented, but uh, the family won't be able to accept that's not their fault as well they don't take those things as a mainstream they just take it as an entertainment that's the that's the main reason uh, many people quit music or the dreams and second second thing is finance uh, a lot of them may be again super talented but uh, they do not have a good finance or background wherein they can produce the, the one thing that that's coming up uh, recently and that has been uh, going around much is uh, comments, hate comments, you know, people people last them, no matter what kind of music they are doing. First of all, we need to understand uh, they, that we are artists. Many of them are afraid of the of the comments. Many of them are uh, scared of what people are trying, people would say. That, that's the reason, that's the third reason people leave music. They are not able to take it. 
you know people just speak out on social media which actually leads me to my next question people in the creative arts they are mocked and they are constantly bullied with negative comments what is one life experience you would like to share with them we need to understand once you're into music you're open to everybody the feedbacks are valuable everybody does not give you a good comment there will be bad comments you have to learn to live with it the major the one of the most important thing as a christian musician you need to understand is for whom you are doing it if you are doing it for people you'll be let down many times if you are doing doing it for god and you are let down by people that does not matter there are people that will that that will give you head comments there are people that will not like you but ultimately if god is pleased with you that's all that's all, that, as a christian musician that's that's what you want we do get a lot of negative feedbacks there were days where people did not buy our products there were days where we we tried to give it to people but they did not buy because we did not align to them even people hate did not like jesus that did not stop him from doing ministry that did not stop him from healing people you have to learn to live with it thank you so much ujjal for those thoughts there are so many people who are constantly bullied online for their looks or their talent whether they do good or bad you know the bible beautifully tells us in proverbs 18:21 words kill words give life they're either poison or fruit you choose we must choose our words wisely what we say to someone may impact them in a big way and we may not even know that let us choose to lift each other up instead of bringing each other down because we are all in this race of life together I hope you had a wonderful time enjoying and listening to this message today. Until next time, have a wonderful day ahead.